All right, we're in the atrium. Atrium. Yes. Um, this morning, some of the gang hung out in the observation lounge, had some coffee. The time changed overnight, so we went back an hour, so my brother and I were up at 4 a.m. Nothing really on the ship opens until 6, but you can get like coffee and pastries in the observation lounge, so we hung out there. And now... I was tired. Yellow penguin tea. <laughs> now it's time for origami penguin. Penguin day. So uh, we were just watching an old TV show called I Survive a Japanese Game Show, and there's yellow penguin team. So we're making yellow penguins. You know who's not making a penguin? That guy. Okay, everyone. Let's see the penguins completed. Can you bring your own stand? And they stand up. Look. Origami penguin. Oh. And now for. Oh dear. Penguin sad. Penguins. They're penguins depressed. Penguin lost its egg, and penguin's having a hard time. Penguin's dealing with the grief. Penguin's grieving. This is your penguin. Yay! Did you have injury? No. No injury, no paper cut? No injury, no paper cut. Nothing? There you go. Thank you for joining me right here. In a few minutes, I'm going to have trivia. So I'll stick around. 90s trivia? This is good morning trivia. It was hard yesterday. Remember, what are we doing, S? Super docious. We're doing good morning trivia. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. There you go. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Oh, you're seeing that. You're a good singer. How's the question so far? Is it difficult? Is it hard or is it easy? Easy. Let's move on to our next question. Question number four. In 1952, the United States Air Force created a project called Blue Book to study. soccer? Zero? Alright, let's see if you can do it. <laughs> let's go, Pele. You gotta be quicker than that. Aliens. 
see if Brain can do any better than me. going straight and then it like <laughs> well if you lived in Juneau Alaska you'd be home now <laughs> right now we're docked We're at the farthest dock. We're at the farthest dock from town. So I do think it would be a minute of a walk. We're not too far from the tram, but the tram is, yeah, we're the farthest ship. Yes, yeah, so it's dock AJ, uh, A for long ass away. What? I don't know, but uh, yes, we're at the farthest dock, but look how beautiful it is. It's, it's look, you can see the, uh, the, the tram. Bliss. Do you think that's the bliss that we passed? We did pass the Bliss, and there it goes out to sea. I do think that's it. Bryn had a friend that's on the Bliss, and they went to the top deck and waved at each other, and they said they could hear each other. They sure did. What a time to be alive. What else? Um, so, we're yeah, we're about Hi. to... Um, look at there's some people. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a full-on photo shoot, I love it. Some of the crew. Yeah, the tram's right there, you can see the tram. Yeah, you see the tram, do you think it's clear enough to yeah. enjoy the tram? Yeah, I do. All right, well, we're gonna head up to deck four. Deck four is where you disembark. Ooh, exciting. We may do the tram, we haven't decided yet. We're gonna probably do sled dogs first and yeah. then see if it's still clear. If it gets cloudy, I don't think we'll go up. It was uh, actually pretty nice coming in and now it's getting a little chilly, I feel like. Again. Yeah, it is. But anyway, so let's go uh, check out Juneau, Alaska's capital city and the capital city, um, the state capital in America closest to an international border. Mm. Did you know also, that? That's a fun fact. I love a fun fact. Did you learn that at the lecture you went to? I did. <laughs> also, state mammal is the moose. You can only get to Juno by boat or plane. Yep. Yep. Or I suppose someone can launch you with a cannon if you are yeah, in a circus. Trebuchet. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, if you were small enough to be carried by bald eagle and dropped. Stork. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, can't drive here. Can't come by train. Nope. Nope. We have a... We uh, chose the boat. Oh, we're going to see puppies. Do we have a, we we're have a thing here? We have a, yeah, uh, we're gonna what do I call an excursion. We're going to do sled dog summer camp with my mom. My brother and Jenny and my dad are going to go gold panning. Yes. And then um, we're going to explore the town a little bit. Why don't you come along with us? It's day three. That means it's going to be three times the fun. <laughs> well, we come down to deck number four, headed out. Now, when you, you got to have your key out because you scan your key. But anyway, we're in. We're here, and I think it's just a great place to be, if you know what I mean. Hey, slay! Now we've got a. I mentioned this before, but we have a 
an excursion where we're gonna meet some real puppy dogs. Puppy. Um, I had a, I split a hamburger with Sarah at the thing and I put a little hamburger juice behind my ears so the puppies would give me a smooch and uh, well, we'll see how it goes. But here is the, here's where you get on your chores. What? Oh, there's a ton of people here. First to the right, folks, so we'll bust it down to your left. Are we on the shuttle or no? Uh, we're on a tour. Excursions this way. There's the tram up there. And there is the Norwegian Encore. The largest ship in their fleet. They'll never make another like her. Let's go see doggies. Oh, 
Well, we hung out with the pups. They mushed us all over the Ding Dong place in a rolling cart. And now we're in historic downtown Juno. Above us, tram goes up there. We're not going on the tram. It got a little rainy and overcast. Instead, we're gonna head to the old Red Dog Saloon where the old Wild West was lived out, right, Ez? Yeah, it's a bear. <laughs> Anywho, let's go check out downtown. What do we need to do, Bryn? Use the restroom. <laughs> One thing in all the videos that we... In all the videos that we watched about Juno, babe, yeah. no one's talked about where to pee. Oh. That's the content that's really needed out there. You know? Should I go in and rate every bathroom? There's go in and rate <laughs> bathroom ratings in downtown. Do you think there's a bathroom in the visitor center? There's Tracy's King Crab Shack. There's Red Dog Sleep straight up the museum. Yeah. There's all the shops. I grabbed as much as you did in the How you did not? Maybe a little more. Maybe Famous more Red Dog Saloon. Check your sidearms, partner. Let's do this. Yeehaw! Ooh, doggy. What do you think of the Red Dog Saloon? Um, it's cool. I wanna, I'm excited to go inside and have a little bevy. And I'm excited to not be in the rain. And I'm excited Bryn finally got to pee. It's a trifecta, trifecta of things that I'm excited about. Oh, who's calling me? Nana. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> And now, Bryn will tell us the story of the Red Dog Saloon. Originating during the heyday of Juno's glorious mining era, this world-famous saloon has provided hospitality and fellowship to weary travelers and local patrons alike. Early day proprietors, Earl and Thelma, Forsyth provided dancing and entertainment. Ragtime Haiti played the piano in her white gloves and her silver dollar halter top. Later, hey in territorial days, Gordy Canutes would meet tour boats with his mule and wore a sign saying, follow my ass to the Red Dog Saloon. <laughs> Get it? In the early 70s, the Harris family bought the saloon and later moved it to its present location. In 2008, the saloon was purchased by a group of local residents and Red Dog Versatile was added. Red Dog souvenirs are also available online at www.reddogsaloon.com. Hey, uh, I'm gonna get some souvenirs. Okay, well. We're gonna be having a rootin' tootin' good time. Rootin' tootin' duck fartin'. Nerds in Oregon, more like nerds in Red, Red Dog, Dog Saloon. Saloon. <laughs> you know, it doesn't always work. Yeah. Wait, you guys want to Yeah. 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ezra, will you film us? Okay. Remember, you gotta down the whole thing. You know, sippy sippy. It's only rivaled by your hospitality. <laughs> we got puppies. We got Wild West. We got rain. We got gold. We Did got you get gold? gold? Oh, gold. yeah. We found gold. Well, we're done at the world famous Red Dog Saloon. We did some shopping. We've had a number of duck farts, so I'm gonna just we end day things. three at this point. We're gonna shop our it's way back from here. to the ship and then uh, just uh, sign off for day three. Tomorrow is Ooh, wait, day I, four in Skagway. Oh boy. Shed? They have this sign in the Red Dog Saloon and we got it for Pub Shed. Yeah, mm -hmm, that's right. Mm -hmm. Keep the bar low, as we say. It's basically a sign to request you keep the bar low. Yes. Let's walk around Juno and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.